High-speed railways have become increasingly common in recent decades, and innovations have not stopped. The first high-speed railway was in operation in Japan and was inaugurated in 1964, at which time it was capable of speeds of 210 km per hour. Today, however, the record is held by the French with a speed of 574.8 km per hour, but in China, trains run at a scheduled speed of up to 350 km per hour. The emergence of magnetic levitation railways and the new type of hyperloop, which is currently still a concept, could open a new chapter in the history of railway development, and in the future they could even travel at speeds that would put even airplanes to shame. However, the technological competition for this could, as has always been the case in history, turn into a new competition between great countries, including the fact that individual countries can come up with newer and newer innovations. In this video, I present the five countries that are moving the fastest in developing high-speed railways. Number 5. India. India is one of the developed countries in the world that does not have a high-speed railway. However, this will change in the future. The so-called Mumbai Ahmedabad High-Speed Railway Line is planned to open in 2028, which will be 508 km long and have 12 stations. The railway line is planned to run at 320 km per hour and will be based on Japanese Shinkansen technology. That is why the planned railway line will be operated by E5 series Shinkansen trains. According to current estimates, this line will cost $17 billion, but India is not stopping at building railway lines, because there are countless other large cities in the country that need to be connected. The next major developments are planned to be completed by 2031, which will allow travel between Mumbai and Delhi, among others. This distance would take 2 hours and 15 minutes to travel by plane, but a high-speed rail line would reduce this to just 3 or 3.5 hours. It would also include lines connecting major cities such as Lucknow, Varanasi, Patna and Hara. This network would be further expanded by 2041, with Varanasi reaching Nagpur, and further south, Hyderabad and Bengaluru. The final plans could be completed by 2051, when there would be high-speed connections between Mysore and the port city of Chennai, the metropolis Hyderabad and Mumbai, and Mumbai and Nagpur, and further north, Putna reaching Guwahati. Other smaller lines are also being planned, with trains running at speeds of only 200 or 250 km per hour, such as between Ahmedabad and Rajkot, or between Kusragod and Tiruvananthapuram in the south of the country. Number 4. South Korea. The Korean Train Express, also known as KTX, is South Korea's high-speed railway network, operated by Corail, and consists of a 922-kilometer long high-speed rail network. The high-speed rail system consists of two main types of trains, the KTX-1 and the KTX Sanchen. These two types operate mainly on the country's high-speed lines, and usually travel at a speed of 305 km per hour, although the KTX Sanchen, for example, has a design speed of 330 km per hour. However, in 2024, a new type of train, the KTX Chongryong, will enter service, which will be capable of traveling at a speed of 320 km per hour and has a design speed of 352 km per hour. South Korea does not plan to build any more high-speed rail lines in the future, given that the country's current network already serves large cities, but it does intend to develop the current network, an important element of which is the expansion of the network within large cities. The Great Train Express is a project that intends to build three high-speed lines in the Seoul agglomeration, through nine stations. If you look at the inside of the trains, they look more like subways, but the reality is that these trains will travel at 180 km per hour, making them practically the fastest subway in the world. In May this year, the country's development ministry invested a large amount of money in the so-called K-Hypertube project, which aims to develop a hyperloop-like train that will be able to travel up to 1,200 km per hour. If you're interested, check out my previous video, in which I mentioned this, among other things. Number 3. Germany. Germany also has a relatively extensive high-speed network, known as ICE or Intercity Express which now connects not only German cities, but also other major European cities. The advantage of German railway development is that one of the world's leading railway manufacturers, Siemens, is headquartered in the country. One of Siemens' main innovations is the Valero-type train, 
which is now operating on the high-speed networks of most countries, including Russia, Turkey, Spain, England and China. The latest innovation is the Valero Novo, which will be a new type of Valero train, and although there is currently only one car of it, there will be several types in the future and it will be able to operate on railway lines such as the privately owned Brightline West plan between Las Vegas and Los Angeles, or the planned high-speed network in Egypt. Germany is also at the forefront of high-speed rail development because a company called TransRapid developed the so-called Maglev Railway here a few decades ago. Although it has only had one customer so far, namely Shanghai in China, the development of magnetic levitation railways can still be linked to this. This maglev is capable of reaching a maximum speed of up to 500 km per hour. Number 2. Japan Japan is also special in this regard because the world's first high-speed railway began operating here in 1964, between Tokyo and Osaka, and the service is still known as the Shinkansen. This railway technology has since been exported by Japan to countries such as Taiwan, France, and the aforementioned India. Since then, however, especially with the advent of maglev technology, Japan has also joined the developments and announced a new type of maglev technology with which the planned high-speed railway between Tokyo and Osaka will operate in 2037. This Chwashinkansen and the new type of railway are expected to reduce the distance between the two cities to 67 minutes. The train set a speed record in 2015, when its speed exceeded the absolute 603 km per hour, making it the fastest train in the world ever built. Japan is also a leader in the engineering and architecture of high-speed railways, as it is home to the world's longest undersea tunnel. This is the Saiken Tunnel, which runs under the Tsugaru Strait and connects the islands of Honshu and Hokkaido. The tunnel is over 53 km long, of which 23 km are underwater. In the future, the country wants to further expand its high-speed rail network and move towards new types of maglev technologies. All this in the next few decades. Number 1. China. China's high-speed rail network was only 671.5 kilometers in 2008, but today it is about 50,000, and the country has greatly increased the number of high-speed developments in the past decade. Although most types of trains are usually based on Western technology or partially modified ones, in recent years the country has been conquering not only within the country but also outside it. It has begun to export its high-speed railways to countries such as Indonesia, Laos, Central Europe, and has helped develop countries such as Russia, Saudi Arabia and Turkey. The fastest train on wheels in operation in the country is the CRH400AF, which is capable of a maximum speed of 400 km per hour, but it only operates at a speed of 380 km per hour. At the end of 2024, China unveiled its new high-speed train model, the CR450, which is capable of a maximum speed of 450 km per hour and will enter service in 2025. The operating speed of this type is 400 km per hour. The fastest operating maglev train is also operating in the country, the Shanghai Maglev, which runs between Shanghai Airport and the city center, with a traveling speed of 300 km per hour. In the future, China also wants to compete in the field of Hyperloop technology, especially since it has managed to start developing a train that will be able to travel at speeds of up to 1000 km per hour, and plans to invest in other projects in the future.